Hey everyone, my name is Peter Crast O'Donnelly and I'm the new executive director for the Capital Area Council of Churches. I'm grateful to the board for this opportunity to serve. I'm so thrilled to be part of this organization. And I also have to give a huge thank you to our uh, outgoing executive director, Bruce France, both for his five years of service and for working with me to make this as smooth of a transition as possible. Now, for those of you who don't know me, a couple of quick little facts about me. Uh, I'm a member of the Shrine Church of Our Lady of the Americas. It's a multicultural Catholic community in the heart of Albany. Uh, my own faith formation previous to being at the Shrine Church, and of course, being at the Shrine Church, is ecumenical in nature. Um, I have, over the course of my life, been a part of different Catholic churches. I spent a while in a free Methodist church, and I was part of InterVarsity Christian Fellowship in college. And all of these experiences have continued to shape and form me um, on my spiritual journey. Uh, I have served for five years on the board of the Capillary Council of Churches, so I'm familiar with the organization, um, what we do, and the mission. It's very important to me. Last couple of years, I was the board president. Um, and a final note, I spent my past six years at the food pantries for the Capital District, which is a coalition of over 70 food pantries in Albany, Rensselaer, Saratoga, and Schenectady counties. My uh, latest role there was as program director. So coming into this, I'm coming in with some of that operational director background. Now, that said, um, just hopping on, I already have some important information that we wanted to share and get that out there. The biggest news is that the Capital Area Council of Churches office and the emergency overflow shelter have both moved. Um, we're so grateful to for, uh, First Church for being our new location. We'll be very sad and we'll miss our friends at First Lutheran who hosted us for many years. Um, we are now with First Church in Albany. Uh, which is located at 110 North Pearl Street in Albany. I also wanted to share a couple of our events that are coming up in January. We have some dates for. Uh, the first is the Ecumenical Witness of Baptism Renewal Service, which will be at, on Sunday, January 12th at 2 p.m. at St. Matthew's Church in Voorheesville. Uh, also, huge thank you to those at St. Matthew's uh, for being so active and engaged with the Ecumenical Witness Program. So we're thrilled that you're, you're willing to host us and host the renewal service there. Um, our other big event in January is the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Interfaith Celebration. Uh, this is always held on Dr. King's birthday, which is Wednesday, January 15th this year, and it'll be at 7 p.m. at Congregation Beth Emmeth. Um, this interfaith celebration not only... Uh, memorializes and is in tribute to Dr. King and all the work he did, but it also kicks up our kicks off our annual scholarship fundraiser, where we raise funds to send um, graduating seniors to college. So please check out the event. If you're not able to make it, uh, please consider donating to that scholarship. Um, finally, just a quick note. Thank you so much for your support with the Capillary Council of Churches. Um, so that way we can continue to bring churches and partners together for fellowship and for service. If you'd like to make a donation to the council, please visit our website online. Um, again, so happy to be a part of this organization and all the good work. And I hope and look forward to meeting many of you uh, in the years to come.